Lainey is with us. Lainey is in what in the world did I do there? I messed Hello. up. The, oh, there's Lainey. Hey, Lainey. <laughs> Welcome to the Ramsey Show. How can Ken and I help? Hi, Dave. Hi, Ken. Bear with me. I have a lot of moving pieces. Um, I'm an occupational therapist. I work in the hospital. I also have a part-time job and outpatient. I'm on baby step two. I'm getting married in August. And I'm just very burned out on the hospital. I'm living in Asheville. Um, my lease ends in November. And the plan was were, was for my fiancé to get a job first. And I kind of go from there because my job's more flexible. Um, but I got anxious, found a job, got offered the job, and it's going to be an $8,000 pay raise. I'm just, now I'm having second thoughts on, am I cornering my fiance into a place or should I? Where is the job? The job and, Where's the job? Um, Greenville, South Carolina. Okay, so you would be moving. And your mm-hmm. your lease is up in November, and you're getting married when again? August. August. Okay. okay. And so had you guys mm-hmm. already decided on Greenville, South Carolina, or this is where the job has come up, and now he's got to decide, or you have to decide if that's where we want to go? Help me understand. This is where the job came up. So right. we have not decided on a location at all. Okay. So if you're having second thoughts, what are his thoughts? I'm, su- I'm assuming since you mentioned him and cornering him, have you guys discussed this, and what's his take? Yeah, um, he he isn't super decisive about it. He likes the area, but he does feel like he wishes that he could find a job first because I could essentially go anywhere where his it might be harder for him to find a job. Okay, so you called us. Which way were you leaning at the start of this call? Oh, I'm really, really conflicted. I... I'm really worried that I am making a rash decision, like to jump on this job because I'm so burned out at the hospital. Okay. And this job would start in September. So it's kind of like a really quick, easy out for me. Yeah. I I think you have to listen to that Uh, here, but Mm -hmm. I want to dive in here. Tell me about the parts that are causing you to feel burned out. And another way of asking this is, what would you remove if you had a magic wand? What would you pull away from what you're doing right now that's sucking your soul out? Well, so the biggest piece is the salary is not what I expected when I got the student loans that I did okay. for an occupational therapist. Okay, but so I'm working that's, that, doesn't cause that's, you, that doesn't cause you to burn out. That's not work-related. That's yeah. emotion attached to the reality that a lot of people are facing when they get these expensive degrees that they take loans out, and they go, yeah. wait a second, I thought I was going to make more. I'm asking you, do, is, there type, is there types of things you're doing that are burning you out, or is it just the oh, emotional yeah. disconnect? like running to run away from this particular hospital. Why? Why? What's sucking the life out of you? Um, so it has been um, so many staff cuts. We're super. We've been super overworked. Okay, so um, you're overwhelmed, our, which is which I've I've written yeah. about this. I've got an article on this at KenColeman.com. It's one of the five causes of what I call buildup on the heart. See, burnout mm-hmm. is the symptom. If I go to the doctor today, Laney, with a knee uh, with knee pain. I'm not going, I've got knee pain. I want to know what's causing the pain. And and so being overwhelmed, drinking from a fire hydrant is, is what you're identifying here. So let me simplify this. If we removed all of the stuff that's causing all this, this stress and just feeling overwhelmed, and I put you in a different place doing occupational therapy, would you be happy in your work? Yeah, I think so. I, I, and made to be an occupational therapist. I Boom. know that. All right, hold on, hold on, pause. That's huge. That's yeah. what you have to realize. You were made mm-hmm. to be an occupational therapist. So we're doing the right thing in the wrong place. We have a little quiz. At da- uh, well, at, she at, knows that. She's wanting to leave. I know. But, yeah, that's well, why no dad inside, <laughs> Coleman. She already told you that. No, but but she needs to hear that because she was going to take another job just as an because, occupational therapist. No, she was going to take it. She was going to. She was rushing into something as opposed to saying, "I need to stay in occupational therapy." She was. Go, she was going to stay in occupational therapy. Yeah. So the other job is home health. It's not occupational therapy. So it's still it's an occupational therapist. Yeah, I thought you were staying. You're staying in the behind. career. But right? I thought I heard her say it was a little right. bit different than what she's doing now. Okay. Did I misunderstand so, that? Let me back up a second on on something that's bothering me in this whole thing. <laughs> when are you getting married again? 
August. Okay. August this is this is July. So mm-hmm. when is it your fiance is going to go get a freaking job? <laughs> my, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think he needs to get off painter get off the ladder here. Yeah. But you what? should not take the job in Greenville. I don't think that's good for the no, relationship. No, I think, but I think he's got about thirty days, or no, no whining. Like by mm-hmm. the time you get married, he should have his job lined up in the city, and then you go over there and get you an occupational therapy job in that city, and you're still going to be in there mm-hmm. by September. Yes. Mm-hmm. And and the point. But I'm him trying- sitting around on his butt till Christmas, not <laughs> figuring this out, is not one of the options on the table. Right. <laughs> you could tell him I said that. Or are you waiting on him? Like, what? Why do you have to? Why does he you know, have to go? First? You're not forcing him. He does need to get his button gear. Mm-hmm. But here, here's the point I'm trying to make, Laney. Uh, I, Dave's having fun mm-hmm. with me. I get it. Here's the point. You're not burned out from being an occupational therapist. You're just burned out mm-hmm. in the current environment. Don't mistake that. That's yeah, all. Stay I'm saying. with occupational therapy. Yeah, you're doing the right thing, but get out of that environment. Yeah, I agree. And and I'm I'm with you on this, Lenny. I think you can land that pretty easily, and you just have to be selective mm-hmm. about the environment wherever he wants. But he loses his option on cities if he doesn't take the option by the wedding. Okay. So you think I give him? 30 days he gets to he gets until then to choose it. cities and choose his little career thing otherwise he'd be following you yeah yeah and i don't want that i i want him to grow in his career I, yeah i do too but that means he has to actually go do it <laughs> he has to get on the ladder yeah. before he can climb yeah what's he, he do what's his what's his field he's a supervisor in commercial landscaping well, you can do that anywhere. Yeah, I've never heard of a supervisor in landscaping deciding which city he wants to go to. I mean, you guys collectively say that. This is where we want to live. We, he can go do that anywhere as well. And you can go do occupational therapy anywhere. So let's let's have a meeting tomorrow night and decide where we want to live. And then let's go get a couple jobs there before the wedding. Yeah. And then you can quit your job and you'll be out of that hospital by September. And you go do occupational therapy and he goes do goes and does commercial landscaping. I mean, any major metro area has got commercial landscaping, believe me. Anybody's probably got office buildings and apartments and so forth. That's just that's the deal. Um, so, I mean, there's 73,000 of them within a two-mile radius of this place. They're over here every day bothering us. So um, <laughs> I know that, you know, it's just possible, right? I mean, can you? Yeah, they want to get this job, right? This this building. Yeah, there's a lot of landscaping to yeah. do around here. Yeah. So, so yeah, you're I, telling me you're not a fan of the leaf blower right outside of the conference rooms? <laughs> Is that what I'm hearing, Dave? I don't know. It was like a thing at the old office. Every time we would start a meeting, some guy would go by with a leaf blower about the time we're in the we're meeting. We're a full-on staff <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Right in the middle of a meeting. So, yeah, the great news is you can land both of these jobs anywhere you guys want to do, Laney. This is about you all getting aligned on your timing and your motivation and ambition, and both of you being on the same page. You're more driven to get out of that hospital and he's not driven enough. I'm kicking him in the butt in this call yeah. uh, because he's leaving you on hold. And you on hold is driving you bananas, and you're screaming burnout, burnout, burnout. Yeah. And there's really no burnout because you're gone by September. Mm-hmm. You can survive but till September, I promise. Yeah. So you got this, kid. Congratulations on your marriage. It's going to be awesome. You're going to have a great new city picked out by the end of the week. It's awesome. It's going to be incredible.